In this video I will show how to make a boogie using Lego bricks, two microbits, two Geek server motors and a Wukong motor board. We start with this version where I can control the boogie using a microbit that acts as a transmitter. Pressing button A makes the boogie turn left, button B makes it turn right, while pressing both A and B makes it drive either forwards or backwards. If I tilt the microbit, the boogie stops. From the upcoming photos, you can see how the boogie can be made. The motor on the right side is connected to M1 and the motor on the left side is connected to M2. If you turn the red wire towards the microbit, the motors will rotate the way that shoots the following programs. The motor board must of course be well charged. You turn it on with a little black switch. Press twice to turn it off. The first program looks like this. If it receives a radio signal from the transmitter, one of the functions to the right will be activated and the boogie will run or turn. To get hold of the motor blocks, one has to start by loading an extension called Wukong. The program for the transmitter looks like this. Pressing A, B or both will cause the transmitter to emit a radio signal. The variable forward keeps track of whether a press on both A and B should make the boogie move forwards or backwards. In this boogie, two of the four LEDs light up depending on whether the boogie is turning, driving forwards or backwards. We will look at how this feature can be made. First we look at how the four LEDs are named. To make them work, this line must be entered into the starting block. Note that the LEDs run from P16. Now I have made a function called blink. It makes the relevant LED shine red when called by the functions that control the motors. In the last edition I have mounted two Hunt sensors. They emit infrared light and can react if any of this light is reflected by a white surface. The program is extended so that it causes the boogie to change direction when it encounters a light obstacle. I glued the sensors to Lego bricks as shown here. And here you see how they are mounted on the boogie. The one at the front is connected to P0 and the rear one to P1. Remember to twist the cable so that the black wire faces away from the microbit.
Then the sensors must be trimmed with a screwdriver. Let them point out into the room while they are connected to the motorboard. Then turn the trimmer so that the red LED just starts shining. Then the program on the boogie must be expanded with this block, which causes the motors to change direction when the sensors detect a light surface. The block also gives a radio message to the transmitter, telling that the direction now has changed. That message is detected by this block, which must be entered into the transmitter program. Now the transmitter program knows in which direction the boogie is driving. You can still control the boogie using the transmitter's A and B buttons.